Hello friends good evening welcome to my channel please subscribe to my channel we are going to discuss very very important things which are helpful throughout our life it is not only for examination sake it is for lifelong purposes thank you good evening my dear friends today we are going to see the spotter's second part which is from the head and neck so in the previous class we have seen the glands and we have seen the structures which are present in the nasal cavity and now we are going to see the blood vessels which are present in the head and neck so let us go forwards and try to see what the vessels we can identify how to find out the vessels in the head and neck so the first vessel which is very important to find out in the spot is easily we can find that vessel is called as common carotid artery so how to find out this common carotid artery so probably in a <clears throat> practical examination they usually put this sagittal section of the face head and neck so in the sagittal section of the face you can see uh, from one aspect from lateral aspect you can identify okay so <clears throat> if we see the neck region in the neck region we can identify a big vessel big artery which is nothing but the common carotid artery okay so the common carotid artery is a big one which is coming from the right side and left side it is extending upwards and reaches to the superior part of the thyroid cartilage and it is going to bifurcate into two branches external and internal carotid artery so how to find out how to distinguish the external internal and common carotid arteries is so the big vessel which is present in the neck region that is called as common carotid artery if they point out any structure which is present at the level of thyroid cartilage or adam's apple or laryngeal prominence so then you have to be careful and find out how which artery it is okay so i will explain that external and internal carotid artery also in our upcoming slides so this is how we have to identify the common carotid artery and the next question usually they ask is what are the branches of common carotid artery it is a very easy one which anybody can identify that so the next one is external carotid artery so as i told you earlier this common carotid artery which is extending into the neck and then it bifurcates at the level of superior border of the thyroid cartilage into external and internal carotid arteries so the left side the common carotid artery extending directly from the arch of aorta whereas right side right side it is extending upwards and reaches to the neck uh, it is coming from the brachiocephalic trunk brachiocephalic trunk okay so sometimes they may ask like that so what is the origin of the common carotid artery at the left side or at the right side is it some tricky question so usually asked in the exam practical examination okay so if they ask the branches you can mention that external and internal carotid arteries okay Th this is how we have to identify the external carotid artery yes sometimes you may feel difficulty still to find out the external carotid artery okay so this is a picture which i have taken zoom picture so in this picture we can identify here it is external carotid artery how to ident identify this external carotid artery so the branches which are coming from any artery the big vessel that is nothing but the external carotid artery so the common carotid artery it does not give any branches here common carotid artery does not give any branches which are supplying to this adjacent structures but rather the branches which are coming from the external carotid artery the branches which are supplying to this neck structures neck structures and also to the face structures so that is about to uh, uh, identify the external carotid artery or distinguishing the external carotid artery so try to identify this picture here you can see from this picture from this vessel you can see all the small branches are coming so that is nothing but the external carotid artery then moving to the internal carotid artery so anterior medially anterior medially we can identify external carotid artery and posteriorly we can see the internal carotid artery so internal carotid artery identification is that no vessels no branches coming from the internal carotid artery in this particular neck region okay in this particular neck region so that is how you can identify the internal carotid artery so 
coming to this external carotid artery, they may ask the branches of the external carotid artery and sometimes they may be very specific. They may ask what are the branches coming from the external carotid artery in the carotid triangle they may ask. Okay. And coming to the internal carotid artery, what are the branches coming from the internal carotid artery? Okay. So try to uh, remember, try to uh, observe that question carefully. If they ask the branches, you have to write the branches which are coming from the internal carotid artery in the cranial cavity, in the cranial cavity or in the temporal, petrous part of temporal bone. Any part, they may ask very specifically. So you have to observe the second question clearly in the practical examination. Then moving to the next structure is facial artery. So the facial artery, you may see the facial artery in the carotid triangle. They may ask or sometimes they may ask very uh, often times they ask the facial artery in the face. Okay, so how to identify this identify this facial artery is this facial artery identification is you have to find out it is related to the submandibular salivary gland submandibular salivary gland and then it is forming a loop it is forming a loop and enters into the face and enters into the face and then runs towards the medial angle of the eye medial angle of the eye so that is how you can identify the facial artery try to identify here the facial artery okay sometimes they may keep the veins also so you have to be careful if it is forming a loop that is nothing but the facial artery okay if there, if there is any no loop and the uh, lumen of the wall of the vessel is thinner that is nothing but the vein okay so i will show the vein also no need to worry in the upcoming slides or in the next uh, session we are going to see the veins as well so this is how i have to identify the facial artery next one is the maxillary artery how to identify this maxillary artery? So the maxillary artery and the superficial temporal artery, these are the terminal branches of external carotid artery. So this is the terminal part of external carotid artery. Okay. So this external carotid artery, the terminal branches are one is maxillary artery. So where you can identify this maxillary artery is definitely they have to remove a small part of the mandible. Okay, so then only you can identify the maxillary artery. So you no need to get confusion in the practical examination. If this, if you see any vessel which is present inside deep to the mandible, here in this picture you try to identify, they have removed a small part of the mandible, they have removed the coronoid process and they have removed the ramus of mandible, then only we can see clearly the maxillary artery maxillary artery okay so this is how you have to identify the maxillary artery so the location is in the infratemporal fossa in the infratemporal fossa you can identify this maxillary artery okay so next question may be they may ask very specifically what are the branches coming from the first part or they may ask what are the branches coming from the second part and what are the branches coming from the third part any part they may ask okay so try to uh, find out the answers for the maxillary artery branches okay <clears throat> then here another question usually they ask is inferior alveolar artery how to identify this inferior alveolar artery so the inferior alveolar artery identification is very easy very easy why because the inferior alveolar artery and it extends into the mandibular canal or mandibular foramen okay so the vessel which is entering into the mandibular foramen that is nothing but the inferior alveolar artery and you have to be careful because inferior alveolar nerve is also entering into the mandibular canal along with this inferior alveolar artery. So you have to be careful if any, if it is bigger structure and if it is appearing like the vessel, you have to write it as inferior alveolar artery. And if it is thick cord like structure, if it is appearing like the nerve already, you might have get experience in finding the structures you can you, you might have get experience in distinguishing the structures with the eye sight okay the artery how it appears nerve how it appears vein how it appears okay so the artery it is having a lumen a thick wall and the vein has lumen and thin wall and nerve it is it is doesn't have any uh, lumen and it is a thick cord like structures thread like structures they are nothing but the nerves that is how you can distinguish inferior alveolar artery and the inferior alveolar nerve okay that is how we have to identify next coming to the superior thyroid artery how to identify the superior thyroid artery so before that we'll try to see the thyroid gland 
in the neck structures in the midline structures of the neck we can identify the thyroid gland isthmus of the thyroid gland then on either side of the isthmus of the thyroid gland we can identify two lateral lobes one on either side so each lateral lobe it is having apex base so towards the apex towards the apex if any vessel if they tie any vessel near the apex of thyroid gland that is nothing but superior thyroid artery let me show you clearly so try to see here so this is the vessel which is running downwards from the external carotid artery and this vessel which is reaching to the apex of thyroid gland apex of thyroid gland so that vessel is nothing but the superior thyroid artery this is how you have to identify the superior thyroid artery okay so that is about the vessels which we can identify Yes, that is how we have to identify the structures which are present in the neck region. So, the arteries I have shown, the glands I have shown. So, other structures, what they ask usually in the practical examination, I am going to uh, present in next session. Okay. So, be attentive, write down all these things and you have to find out the answers which I have put in front of you. So, you have to find out the answers for the questions which I have put in front of you. Okay. Thank you dear students. All the best. See you soon with a new class. Bye.